Hi, this is Jeffrey Rhodes from ExperimentalHomesteader.com and before I begin we did receive this item for free or at a reduced price for our honest opinions. Uh, this is the uh, manual uh, oil press and I have it assembled already. Uh, we are getting it set to do some uh, pressing. Uh, I've got the uh, heat going because it says to heat this for uh, 7 to 10 minutes in order to uh, get it properly heated up and ready to go so that you can uh, press out your oils. Um, we're going to do some Spanish peanuts tonight. Uh, they are raw, unsalted, unroasted. Uh, and we're going to see if we can't get some peanut oil. Um, okay, we do have an assembly video online. But I'll go over real quickly. Um, you want to take the shaft here, which is the screw shaft. You'll take it. Uh, you need to oil the washer that's on there with a little bit of edible oil, and then slide the the shaft into this part of it. Attach the end cap here, and this is your adjustment for your. Uh, waste product. Um, you attach the handle at this end, uh, make sure that it moves freely. Um, I did attach this onto the tabletop. Um, it has bolts underneath here. Uh, I used the uh, uh, wrench that it comes with to tighten these down to make sure I had a nice solid anchor uh, because you don't want this moving when you start cranking on it. Um, and then it's just a matter of adding a little bit of oil to your lamp, um, putting the wick through the washer, uh, rubber banding the bottle onto this, and then setting your bottle here to catch your oils. And then we will still need to get something to catch our waste product. Yeah, and we are using a paraffin oil in this. Uh, you can also use kerosene, uh, but some sort of, of simple lamp oil is what you want to use in this. Uh, nothing highly flammable. Um, and it does come with the glass bottle. It comes with two wicks. Um, trying not to blow out the flame there. Uh, it comes with this uh, little catch bottle here. Um, there are some extra, you know, there's an extra piece here, an extra bolt with the wing nut for the handle. Uh, this is a separate attachment. Um, that's where you pour your uh, your seed or, or uh, nut. Okay, and as soon as this warms up the rest of the way, uh, we'll be back to start the process and see how uh, well I can do cranking this thing and, and uh, making some oil. Uh, and depending on how hard it is, uh, Sherry may take a crank at it also. Okay, so I'm going to pour some peanuts in here and we're going to get started with this. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to stand up and I'm going to start cranking. You want to crank clockwise. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we are getting some oil, <laughs> um, but Jeff has had to tighten the end down a couple times down there. Okay, we're beginning to get some peanut oil, and we're starting to get some cake coming out the other end. So, okay. 
the oil actually looks pretty clear. I think we're getting quite a bit of oil from uh, those peanuts. Yeah, and we didn't even really, we haven't used that much peanut so far. No, no, we had a quart of peanuts and we've used what? Mm. Not quite half? Well, not even half, about, we got about a third in the, uh, the pan up here. Uh-huh. And, I mean, the pan's still mostly full. So I'm going to come up there and see how, how it is for me to crank. We are wanting to move the table a little bit, but this isn't a real solid table. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, and we're getting... And now we're starting to get some cake coming out. Yeah, I mean, it so. is hard. It is not just real easy, but... This is the way that any hand crank machine is, a pasta maker or anything. Easy. Easy. Yeah, I'm wanting to crank too hard because I'm getting going. Right. But okay. So this is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to being able to make my own fresh oils. Now. <laughs> You're moving the table too. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because for one thing, you know, there is, with this heat source down here, putting your hand up above here, there is a lot of heat. So be cautious that you don't burn yourself. Yes. Um, and that stuff sticking out of the other end, Jeff, can you point to it? The stuff here? Yeah, that stuff there and the stuff on the bottom, that's the seed cake. That's the cake. Yes. And that is great to feed to poultry or use in your compost bin if you don't have poultry. So lots of uses for it. It's really full of protein. Uh, and look at all that oil. Now, I'm going to this gear a touch. Okay. Now, why are you loosening that? Well, it says... Um, loose the terminal adjustment bolt if the discharge cake is too dry and crank turning resistance is too big. Okay. So... Okay. So you're going to adjust it a little bit and see what happens. Yeah. It's basically, you know, okay. Okay. So we're continuing to crank and you can see our seed cake coming out. It's getting a lot uh, bigger and there is really a lot of oil coming out of these peanuts. So I think this is a product I'm going to be really happy with because I can grow a lot of the uh, seeds and nuts that you make oil with myself. And so then I don't have to worry about what kind of chemicals or preservatives or additives have been put into them because I can do it myself here at home. I think Jeffrey said that's getting a little harder to turn, isn't it, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's just, you know, the way it is with any kind of hand crank machine. And truly, if you lose electricity or you want to save on your electric bill or whatever, uh, hand crank is the way to go. Okay, so the hopper is completely empty. And I think that Jeff is just cranking out the last of the seed cake, trying to get the last little bit of oil. But I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, Jeff, can you show the quart jar to show how many peanuts we had. Okay. Um, that jar was filled to the quart. Yeah, filled to about right there where his hands is. So that's how much peanuts we used. And I'm going to have him move that metal thing so you can see how much of the uh, seed cake we have. That's quite a bit of seed cake. And if you don't have poultry and you don't want to compost, um, you could also feed this to the birds. You could put it in homemade suet cakes or just put it out like it is, and they would eat that. And I'm also going to have him pour that oil into a little four-ounce canning jar. And then we're just going to leave it settle 
and let any residue fall into the bottom. Um, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot, but we're going to have him do that, and then you can see how much it actually made. Okay, so he's going to pour that oil into there. Um, I think we got about four ounces of oil. What do you think, Jeff? Just pretty darn close. Look at that. That is great. And um, there's a little bit of residue yeah. in the bottom here. Yeah, which we're not going to dump in. But, um, I mean, that's not, no. that's not bad for the amount of oil and the amount of discharge. Yeah. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, very, very happy. Okay, so Jeff's looking real tired over there. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not bad. Uh, There's a little bit of work. Uh, had to crank pretty hard part of the time. Um, I think over time we'll get this uh, zeroed in a little better. Um, I may have had the, uh, the piece down here, uh, the adjustment uh, knob, cranked down a little too far. Um, we still have a little bit of oil dripping out. Yeah, you might put that bottle back under. Yeah. Um, and he did need to get a wrench to tighten that down, an yeah. additional wrench besides the one that came with it. Yeah. I, had, yeah. I, I had to grab a, a pair of channel locks um, to get a grip on this to be able to crank it down better. Uh, it kept trying to turn with the handle as I crank. It'd start turning and trying to unscrew itself. So I had to crank it down a lot harder than what I was uh, kind of expecting to have to do, but now that I know uh, next time, because I'm, I've got to let this cool off so that then I can clean it out, um, it is recommended that you clean this thoroughly after every use. Uh, get rid of all the residual oil in it or it will uh, gum up the works. Yeah. So, and it did help him for me to hold the handle while he was tightening that down. Yeah. So you might consider that. Um, if you don't have a person, you might figure out a way to have something hold the handle. <laughs> well, once I got the right uh, tool for the job, it, was, it I could have done it by myself. It was just, I was trying to use too small of a wrench first. So thanks for watching and have a great night.